What's up, Nightmares? This is Brandon Christensen coming live to you from the set of my new feature film, Superhost. Now, I... Guys, can we just keep the work down, please? I'm trying to shoot a feature film for a festival that likes me a lot, and it would be really, really, really nice of you if you could just shut up for one second. Just kidding. There's actually no one here because we're in the middle of a pandemic, and so things have changed, and I want to show you how. Typically on a feature film, you've got lots of people milling about doing all sorts of jobs, but on this one, we just don't have that luxury. We have key grips doing slating, we've got makeup doing continuity, we've got me doing scheduling, and we've got really none of the luxuries that we would normally have. It's just me and producer Curtis David Harder doing work that we should not be doing. This is the entire crew of Superhost. Starting with cinematographer, Clayton Moore. Assistant camera, Taylor Miller. Sound, Scotty Mitchell. Alfredo Montenegro, key grip. Jenny Agidio, head makeup. <sighs> and Chanston Bender, gaffer. This is our set medic, Edgar Castillo. And every day when we show up on set, he takes our temperature like this. Hang on a Thank you. All right, Curtis Harder, the producer of the film, he's going to tell me what it's like and what his day looks like when he's on the set of Superhost. Kurt? Well, first of all, I forget which day we're on. We could be on day 13 or 12 or 11. Um, and then I, then, I, uh, then I did by accidentally copying the wrong files to the wrong day. Um, and then I make the call sheet, but I, I get all the call times wrong, so everybody's just showing up at different times. But the day always ends well, so... Now, now, do those well. problems have anything to do with the pandemic? Yes, it's all COVID-related. That's what I thought. So you can see, it's really hard to produce a film in the middle of a pandemic. So every morning when the actors get here, they come and they meet Jenny, and they start doing makeup in the chair. Now this is the scary part of the day because they are maskless. When the actors aren't getting their makeup done, they usually hang out in our green room and they get their work done. This is Sarah. We're oh my God, Brandon, can't you see that I'm learning my lines? I, can't, I told you to not before you come in here. God! So that's Sarah Canning. She's great. Here we go. We are rolling camera, rolling camera. Roll down. Roll camera speed. Let's hurry up, guys. 82 Alpha, big, 82 Alpha Delta, big one. Okay, set. And action. Where, where's she going? Okay, the scene ends there. Let's let's try it again, but do it good. And sometimes when we have a few minutes, we're able to go into a private area and get some wild lines from the script that we may have missed earlier. Right now we're doing it with Grace and Scotty and just making sure we get this movie. When it's nighttime, it's really a good time for our actors to get prepped for their next scenes. Here's Sarah Canning, enjoying herself, working on probably something that's not this movie. But always this movie on the front burner. Yeah. Just all this other stuff on the back burner. So right now I have an exclusive interview about what it's like shooting in a pandemic with Osric Chow. Osric, tell us what it's like. Okay. Um, I should know because I'm doing it right now. Let's see, there's less people. Um, we have tests. We're taking three tests every week. Um, so far, so negative. <laughs> um, what else? I don't know. Sarah, what's different shooting in a pandemic? Um, honestly, we're just trying to keep each other safe and things are really contained and otherwise it feels yeah. very similar. Less, less people. Oh, the lunch and crafty, like everyone has their own snack pack. So there's less sharing. Um, yeah, less, less sharing. Less sharing. Less eating food out of other people's plates. Yeah, less <laughs> of that. Though we're still testing negative, so. Yeah. So it's. You hear it here first, guys. <laughs> it is not good. All right, I'm here now with the cinematographer, Clayton Moore. He's going to tell you from his perspective what it's like to shoot in a pandemic. Clayton? Well, it's very different than what we're typically used to. Um, there's, there's less crew because social distancing, of course. Um, so that means you have to do more with less people, which is a challenge. 
Uh, the masks are a little bit of a challenge as well, especially since we're shooting on a mountain. So it's important to take time, take a break, get some fresh air when you can. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just, it's nice to be able to actually be doing what we love and making movies. So can't complain, just little minor inconveniences, but we'll get through it. Thanks, Clayton. Now I'm gonna ask Jenny, our head makeup and only makeup, what it is like for her to work in a pandemic. Jenny? Hola. As you can see, we have all of our beauty blenders separated by name, character, and color coded, so we do not have any risk of cross contamination. These blenders have to last for the entire month, and it cuts on disposables. And then we also have piles of character brushes, each coated as well in different branding for each character, and special soap that can only be dipped into the brushes. No one can touch this. No touchy. All right, guys. Brandon Christensen back here again. We just wrapped day 12 of our movie. And, uh, you know, things are going really smooth. I'm hoping that next year you guys will be able to see it at Nightmares 2021. So please hold a spot for us. And this is Brandon Christensen from the set of Superhost. Saying sayonara.